So we're coming over the hill and we see what looks like to be a giant jungle gym connected by bunches of ropes and ladders. It looks like something I played on when I was a little kid. I'm thinking we are more than prepared for this. This week, the red team uh, will be competing for my charity, which is Make-A-Wish Foundation. The charity will receive $5,000 if my team wins. Marks Monroe! Phil is, is probably the most nimble guy on the team. You know, he's, he's the athlete. And the cargo net is, is probably going to be the most difficult to navigate. Nice. I have a malfunction in the gun, a uh, failure to feed. So I'm manipulating the weapon. Gun's operational now. I send the one at 75, I hit target. Low. I go to the 100, one shot, I hit the target. There you go. We put Gary on number two because he's got a lot of upper body strength. You're there, you're there, you're there. No, it is. Low. Gary sends a few rounds down range, and then I'm spotting for him, you know, trying to call his shots. Low, low. High. High. And I think one or two shots later, you know, boom. Just a few shots, 100 yard target explodes, bam. I'm thinking I'm not in the best shape, so I volunteer to do parallel ropes. Come on, Mike, that's it, buddy. All right, you got it, bro. Smooth, be smooth. I load my gun, and I'm having trouble finding the sight picture. He gets a sight picture in his head. You know, he shot a few blow during a practice session. He may have held just a little bit too high and overcompensated. Oh, Mike, Mr. Hammer. I take a couple shots off the first one. It's taking me a little while. Low, 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 low. I finally hit it, and I hit the second shot with ease. The easiest obstacle are two parallel ropes that run side by side. We'll put Cliff on that one because there's not a whole lot of balance or physicality in it. Good job, Cliff. Good job. Come on, let's do this. Cliff picks up the gun. This is a gun Cliff is very unfamiliar with. Yeah. He goes two for two. Very impressive. They had me go on the last station, which was a single rope, uh, not at much of an incline. I have experience navigating that. I think they wanted me uh, more on cleanup as well. Send it, Chris. Let's go. Chris steps up to take the last station. He has a history of doing this. I think that there is the most pressure in the station. I admire him for always stepping up. boy! Way to move, guys! We won by 45 seconds, which is quite a bit. We got it, man. As good as it felt to know that we won another one, the best feeling is knowing that some little kid's gonna get his wish from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. All of us were kind of collectively pulling together for that charity, so it, it feels really good to do something great, not only for our team, but for a child. Yeah. Yeah.